and of you. In this video, we're going to look at exchange rates. These are one of the more important variables in economics. That's why if you watch the business section of television news or you listen on the radio, what do they always tell us? They tell us what happened to the exchange rate today. What we're going to look at, what are exchange rates? And why do they matter? Why are they important? Starting off with what is an exchange rate? A lot of words, but an exchange rate is the rate or the price at which one country's currency, which for us is rands, is exchanged for the currency of another country. For example, the US dollar, the British pound, or the Botswana pula. So what's that saying? It's saying how much does it cost us in rands to buy a dollar, a pound, or a pula? And normally we would express an exchange rate in our own currency, how much of our currency is needed to buy one unit of the foreign currency. So how many rands do we need to buy one dollar, or one pound, or one pula? So let's look at, currently the, the rand dollar exchange rate is around 13. But what does that mean? It means that we need 13 rand to buy one US dollar. Or, at the moment, the rand, the British pound exchange rate is 16 rand. That means we need 16 rand to buy one British pound. But we can turn this around because exchange rates are important not just to us, but to foreigners. So for somebody who earns dollars, they, for one US dollar, can get 13 rand. Or for one British pound, they can get uh, 16 rand. Why does this matter? Why are exchange rates important? Well, they do two things. They determine the price we pay for foreign goods or imports. We want to know what is the rand price of importing something from other countries. And they also determine the price that foreigners pay for what we produce, what we call our exports. They're not interested in the rand price of what we produce. They want to know what the price we produce in dollars or pounds or pula. So let's look at an example. You want to buy a DVD or a TV series, and it costs you $10. The exchange rate is 13 rand to the dollar. And what you're interested in is how many rands will it cost you to buy that DVD? Well, for every dollar that you buy, you're going to have to pay 13 rand, because that is the current exchange rate and you need to buy $10. So, for each of those $10, you're going to pay 13 Rand, and so you'll pay 130 Rand to buy that DVD. And that's the price we import, we're interested in. We're not interested in the $10. We earn Rands. We would want to know how much it costs in Rands, the 130 Rand. But let's say a foreigner wants to buy something that we produce, for example, a bottle of our red wine that costs 100 rand. The exchange rate again is 13 rand to the dollar. And what the foreigner is interested in is how many dollars will they have to pay to buy that bottle of red wine that costs 100 rand. Now for the foreigner, for each dollar they can buy 13 rand. So they want to know how many uh, dollars do they have to pay in order to buy a hundred rand. So we have a hundred rand, we now divide by 13 to arrive at the number of dollars, which is seven dollars and 69 US cents. And that's the price for the foreigner that matters. They don't care how many rands the bottle of wine cost, they want to know how much it cost in dollars. So, the exchange rate then has shown us how much we pay in rands for foreign goods that are priced in dollars. And it's also shown us how much foreigners pay in dollars for what we produce in rands. What if the exchange rate changes? 
Well, the price we pay for the foreign goods that are priced in dollars will now change in rands. And that's what matters to us, it's the, that it's changing in rands. And the price foreigners pay for what we produce will change in dollars. Let's look at this. So we started off with that the exchange rate is 13 rand to the dollar. We needed to uh, pay 13 rand to get one dollar, or the foreigner for one dollar could get 13 rand. And for some reason, which we'll explain in another video, the rand dollar exchange rate now changes to 10 rand to the dollar. Let's look at what that does to the price of both our imports and our exports. We're now paying 10 rand for one dollar. And so if we look at the cost of the DVD, it still costs $10. But now the exchange rate isn't 13 anymore, it's 10. And so look at what happens to the RAND price of the DVD. For every one of those $10, we must now pay 10 RAND instead of 13 RAND. And so for 100 RAND, we can get the $10 required to buy the DVD. So the price then that we pay in rands is no longer 130 rand, it's 100 rand. The cost of importing foreign goods has fallen for us in rand terms. The dollar price never changed, it's the exchange rate that has changed the rand price. So we will import more foreign goods because they're cheaper for us in rands. And for the foreigner who brought, bought our bottle of wine for 100 rand but paid $7.69, now the exchange rate is 10 uh, rand to the dollar. So for their $1, they now can only get 10 rand instead of 13 rand. They need to buy 100 rand, and so 10 rand to, uh, to the dollar, it will cost them $10 to buy our bottle of wine. So previously they paid $7.69 and now it has gone up to $10. The price in Rand terms is still 100 Rand. There's been no change, but the dollar price has changed because the exchange rate changed. And so this is going to have a negative effect on our exports because for the foreigners who are buying the goods we produce, things have become more expensive in dollar terms and we will export less. So what have we uh, seen in, in, in this lecture? First is the definition, the exchange rate is the rate or the price at which one country's currency, for us the rand, is exchanged for the currency of another country. We focused on the dollar, but we could have done this for the pound or the pula. Usually we express that exchange rate in terms of how much of our local currency rands is needed to buy one unit of the foreign currency. And then why does all this matter? Well, because the exchange rate determines the price that firstly we pay for foreign produced goods. And secondly, the price foreigners pay for what we produce. The price that we pay for foreign produced goods and the price foreigners pay for what we produce changes whenever the exchange rate changes. And so those changes cause the amount of imports and exports we buy or sell to either rise or to fall. And in the future video, we'll look at what causes these changes in the exchange rate that impact on our imports 